Oregon's Measure 114 narrowly passed by voters last November and immediately faced legal challenges. The latest with the Oregon Supreme Court refusing a request from the Attorney General's office to overturn a lower court ruling blocking the law from being implemented. The law would require gun safety courses, background checks, and permits for anyone buying a gun. It would also ban magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition, among other things. It was popular with voters in urban areas, but not in rural parts of the state. The group Gun Owners of America and two Harney County residents filed a lawsuit, and a judge in that county issued a temporary restraining order blocking the law from taking effect. In Thursday's ruling, the state's top judges wrote, We recognize the legal status of Measure 114 is of significant concern to Oregonians, but also wrote, That resolution is underway in the trial court. Our only determination today is that now is not an appropriate time to exercise our authority in connection with the trial court's temporary and preliminary findings. It's frustrating, but um, uh, we also want to make sure that our legislators who have the responsibility for the implementation um, understand that the people of Oregon voted for this uh, and the people of Oregon want to see a change. The status quo is killing people. Rabbi Michael Kahana has been involved in advocating for gun reform for years with Lift Every Voice Oregon, which got Measure 114 on the ballot. On the other side, gun rights groups are applauding the Oregon Supreme Court, including the Oregon Firearms Federation, which wrote, Today, the Oregon Supreme Court sided with the Constitution and refused to overturn the Harney County judge. And this is a massive win. But the high court's decision today is not a sign it's decided anything, says Lewis and Clark law so, professor uh, Tang Yin. The fact that the Oregon Supreme Court is not taking up the request right now does not mean necessarily that they think that uh, as Ron 14 is correctly blocked. And that said, Oregon Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum expressed her disappointment the high court did not end the injunction, tweeting, My office takes the position the law passed by Oregonians last November is totally proper and legal under the U.S. and Oregon Constitution.